So I want to show you the difference between block level and inline at level elements and how they work and what their effect is on the normal flow. Now the first tag I'm going to do is the P tag, the paragraph tag, and I'll simply put paragraph is a block level element. And I will close P. I'm just going to copy and paste this a few times. Okay, so now I have paragraph opened and closed four times in a row. And when I look into design view, we'll see that each time I open and close paragraph, well actually each time I close paragraph, the new paragraph that I open starts off on its own new line. That's because paragraph is a block level element. And essentially what it does is it creates a, well it adheres to the box model formula, which means that on the very outermost it's going to have a margin inside of the margin it's going to have a border and on the other side of the border is the padding uh, now let me show you an example of a inline level element uh, I'm gonna make paragraph here strong and I will close it and why don't I do EM for emphasis on block level and we'll see what happens. Now when I go back into the design you see that both the strong and the emphasis tags didn't create a line break for in the paragraph. So inline level they don't have the box uh, they don't adhere to the box formula uh, by default that is and they won't cause a line break in your this would be considered the normal flow of the document. Um, now div tag is a good example of a generic block level um, element and I'll show you. I'm just going to create a very generic div tag. So here's what I'm going to affect. Third, third sentence down I'm going to put a div around paragraph and when I do that what's going to happen is now you see how paragraph now has a the box around it so it has you know margin on the outside and we even see over here when I hover margin of zero border of zero padding of zero and uh, div or division is the most generic block level element there is in HTML now a very generic inline element is the span and the span tag and I'll put span around block level element of the last one. So I'll do span, I'll open it, and I'll do block level, and I'll close span. And you see my code right here is as follows. When I go into design view, now notice how it has no effect on it. You wouldn't even know it's there. But in fact, as you see down here in Dreamweaver, um, span is there, and span is a very generic inline level HTML element.